say good morning. Morning. Today is a special day, Boo Bears. Do you know why? Because we are gonna take everyone to go and see our new house, our cottage, and we're gonna be painting it. And we can't wait to show you, so stay tuned. This is our current walking situation. Is Hepzibah likes to walk everywhere. Got the sweet sort of uh, floppy feet technique going on. Ah. If you didn't know, we moved out of our house about three months ago. We've been staying with friends ever since. We've actually been waiting because we believe when we moved out that God said he's got nice, beautiful, perfect house for us somewhere. And it's not been an easy two or three months of, as we've kind of been learning and growing and just waiting. But sometimes God doesn't answer prayers straight away. He's got other things that he wants to teach us, other things we need to learn and ways that we need to trust him. So it's been a interesting sort of season for us, but we're really excited to finally have the keys to our new place. Yeah. Hey baby. What are you doing today? Um, I actually head up the, um, I'm the oversight of the house, I'm the house manager, so I just dictate um, where people go and send my team to different areas of the house. Joseph, my just employee, basically. <laughs> You're going to bring the joy today? You got a blueberries? Mmm. Okay. Got a special package arrived. Very excited. Oh wow. Here they are. What's this? Oh, the Crocs are in the building. What do you think, babe? I really don't like them. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Which you already know. I've already told him multiple times. But we're doing painting and gardening and it's hot outside and I don't want to get just... Some... <laughs> For a sweaty foot, I don't know what it is. All I'm saying is that me and Happy are about to make Crocs cool. Yeah? How do returns work on those? Hey. You got the Crocs? They looking cool? You've got the Crocs, you've got the freedom! Oh. I'm not happy because Whoa. Whoa. I'm proactively trying to make um, ethical decisions and buy local and shop small and then Joseph on a whim goes out and buys a pair of crops You got a baby? Ah, oh, kisses <laughs> Just working out some of the problems that we had regarding the crocs um, just understanding each other's point of view on them. Megan is very upset that I've bought myself a pair of Crocs. She doesn't understand. If you do, write in the comments below. Just working through it, you know. Been a very... Um, it's probably been one of the toughest points of our marriage this past few hours, actually. <laughs> Not really had a disagreement like this before, if I'm honest. <laughs> Tell them why you're sad then. I already told them earlier. I'm sad because I feel like Joseph didn't bring me into the buying process. And they're unethical and I thought we were buying ethical clothing. Or I was, anyway. Um, and I feel like he just did it for the fans, you know? He just did it for the dreamers, but... I'm a dreamer <laughs> <laughs> and I'm his biggest one so I don't know I just am a bit embarrassed to be seen in the street with him if that's what if that's what it comes down to maybe here's uh, my side of the story so I'd been sort of mulling over this decision for a few months and every time I brought it up I only received just hate and backlash from not my number one dreamer but my number one hater. I knew I needed some for painting and camping and gardening and all these things that I've got coming up and it was either that or wellies and none where am I ever going to wear wellies right? I know. Bah. 
I chose joy today, but Megan's not choosing joy. She's choosing to be the pessimist. So this is the uh, word is for today. Is what, or half empty? what are you going to choose to do? You choose going to celebrate others, and when <laughs> they make their own dreams come true, <laughs> are you going to choose to be a hater? We're going to choose today, people. We're here. Welcome to our new home, our cottage. It still needs a little bit of work. We'll give you a brief tour of where we're up to in terms of getting it ready. But isn't she beautiful? So we're just taking a little walk while Mama starts painting. And here is our waterfall. Isn't it beautiful? What's incredible is that when we were in this season of waiting, we got a prophetic word from a friend of ours who said he saw a picture of us living in a house with a moat. And we were like, what? This must be a metaphor for something. But as you've seen from the waterfall, the whole place is actually surrounded by a little river and the house also used to be a mill and so a river even ran straight through it and I just think that it was one of those things that you know we were just holding on to we knew God had spoken and we were just trusting in him in this a time where really we had no idea where we were going to live <gasps> Wow, hello, good girl, good waving. Hi, horsey. Can you see him? Oh, he's so big. So, croc update. Thankfully, I've got them on because of all the poo that's everywhere. I feel like a proper country bumpkin, fully prepared for anything right now. Hold on tight, we're coming over. <gasps> Well, welcome to the cottage. You're gonna show them around? Here you are, it's looking a little bit empty and a little bit dusty, but we're cleaning it up. Let me take you upstairs, watch your heads. Oh, have you been up here yet? It's a bit of a building site, not really safe for a little baby, is it? And then mama, should be right through here. Can we open the door? Yeah, just be careful. Just be careful. Here's your bedroom. Wow. Mama's painting you. What do you think? You got a little uh, sink in the corner there to brush your teeth. We'll teach you how to do that. hot, I'm sweaty, but that's probably day three of maybe six we're gonna need to do to get this house ready, to get it all painted and cleaned up, ready for us to move in. And the carpets are coming too. Just locking up now, gonna try and get some troops together, some friends and family and stuff like that for the weekend. And then we can really smash it out. So join us then in three, two, one and we're back it's the weekend got the fam down here's my sister phoebe hanging by the door she's we're painting inside the annex now we're pretty much done painting inside oh oh hi hi that's my baby and that's my mum everyone's down the lawn is mowed it's looking just fantastic babe yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here yeah. People have seen the house. Is there any um, final words you want to tell people? Maybe update them on the Crocs situation about how you're feeling? I've come to the realisation that if it makes you happy, it is the joy of my life to support what makes you happy. And so it's my joy too. Is it your joy, Boo Bears? Daddy's yeah. shoes? Truth is, there is a lot to this story about how we ended up living in this amazing house and I'm sure I'll go into more details about all the amazing miracles that happened for us to end up here. It truly is a story of God working so, so clearly. But I'm going to end this video right there. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. And you guys are wonderful. Peace! Dream, dream.